Hi there. I've previously done a video uh, reviewing Swiss Army knives and multi tools, various types of multi tools. Uh, but today I want to go into uh, a specific model of the Swiss Army knife. But first, a bit of history. In the 1890s, uh, a knife company in Zurich, Switzerland, um, designed a pen knife with multiple blades, uh, hoping to market it for use by the Swiss Army, which uh, actually did happen. And uh, Switzerland um, has two major language groups. Uh, Zurich uh, is the area where they speak uh, Schweizerdeutsch, the Swiss German. And um, there is a, another big language group with, or the French. And they wanted um, to share the contract. So a company in Geneva called Wenger um, also started uh, making the Swiss Army knives. So uh, the Zurich company uh, became known as Victor and Ox, and then you had Wenger. And uh, eventually the uh, Swiss Army knife became iconic worldwide. And um, many different models have been produced. So the term pen knife really doesn't do it justice. There are models designed for climbers, uh, for hunters, for yachtsmen, uh, for anglers, and many other uh, specific uh, activities. Uh, I remember the first time I went to Zurich was 1983, and in Bahnhofstrasse there was a, a shop that sold Swiss Army knives and outside was a, a, a massive working model of a Swiss Army knife. I was always intrigued by it. I eventually bought uh, my own Swiss Army knife and it was the Swiss Champ. That's the one that seemed to fit my needs uh, best. And I particularly wanted to use it uh, on the range. And unfortunately, that's where I lost it. I lost it on a range. And then, um, not too long after, uh, I was in Joburg and the guys uh, presented me with a Wenger Swiss Army knife, which I call the instructor knife. I, I talked about it in the previous video. Um, and I've been using that ever since. But I've always had um, a hankering for another uh, Swiss champ. Uh, it's got all the features that I want and it's also compact enough to carry in your pocket. There are some really massive Swiss Army knives, but um, the, the Swiss Champ um, is, is the best blend of the size and utility for me anyway. So um, I decided to give myself uh, a Christmas present this year and the Swiss Champ arrived and uh, I was delighted to find out there are some new features as well as the ones that uh, I always thought um, were, were just what I needed. So uh, there are some things that uh, come into almost every model I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm not an expert on all the Swiss Army knives but um, a couple of features on the Swiss Champ that I liked and by the way, um, it came with this very, very well explained um, instruction manual, which gives you um, what all the tools are and also what they are designed to use. On, and uh, so some of them I never realized what the actual purpose was for. So uh, we'll go over some of the... Uh, features of the uh, Swiss Champ. What, one of the things, and I, I did talk about this in the um, original video, is the magnifying glass, which together with the tweezers, which, which are kept within the scales of the knife, 
And you can see that the tweezers come out. Um, they're the best thing for dealing with splinters I've ever come across. But there's a new feature, which is a pin hidden uh, where the course screw pivots. And you can use this um, to um, expose a splinter. You know, um, we've always used a pin to um, pick away at the skin around a splinter before you use tweezers on it. And so you've got that now in the Swiss Army knife. Uh, and, and the pin can be used for other anything you need to um, maybe fasten something or, or whatever you need a pin for it's there so that that's one of the the features another one is the saw and the saw uh, for its size is terrific it really does cut it works very well it, it's um, probably one of the most useful tools on the Swiss Army knife in my opinion so the saw now another uh, item is the wire stripper if you've ever had to cut away the insulation from wire um, and you don't have uh, an actual dedicated wire stripper it can be quite a chore um, but the one on the Swiss Army knife um, certainly does the job so you've always got a wire stripper with you. Uh, also the scissors uh, are another feature which I, f I find invaluable and I, I, I use them a lot um, for just cutting th those plastic um, uh, loops that secure a lot of labels to clothing for example that, you, you can't really break them with your fingers. The scissors are very, very handy for that. Plus anything else, cutting uh, paper, card, anything you need, um, trimming your fingernails, anything like that, the scissors are ideal for. But the new feature on the Swiss Army knife is the pliers. And um, we'll take a look at that now. The pliers, which are a new addition um, in recent years to the Swiss Champ, are actually a, a multifaceted tool. So if you notice here at the tip, there's a parallel uh, gripping surface, which can be used to, for example, um, get leverage on the tab on um, vacuum pack food if you want to peel it open without cutting into uh, the packaging. It can also be used for bending light items if you have to put a 90 degree or 45 degree bend into something. We then have the main gripping surface which has teeth and is used for unscrewing or tightening a bolt, uh, correction, a nut on a bolt. Now you're not going to disassemble a car engine with it, but for small household items or uh, electrical uh, repairs, uh, it's more than adequate. We then have a wire cutter for cutting uh, small gauge wire uh, neatly and cleanly. And then finally you have in this area is a crimping tool. And this can be used for putting uh, connectors onto electrical wire to connect to a terminal, for example. So all in all, you have a very, very useful addition to what is all already a very um, great toolbox of the Swiss Champ. So what I'm going to do is at the end of the video, I'm going to put the chart up, which uh, denotes all the different tools on the Swiss Champ and um, the diagram of them. So that's at the end of this uh, video. 
So I'll finish off by quoting from Peter Hathaway Capstick. Now, I reviewed his book, Death in the Long Grass, uh, a while ago. Fantastic book. Um, it really takes you in, into the heart of Africa. But he wrote another book, Safari, The Last Adventure. And in it, uh, he talks about his love of the Swiss Army knife. And I'll, I'll quote it. Essentially, I love Swiss Army knives the way I love double rifles. My favourite is now about 20 years old, having been purchased on a whim at Newark Airport. And we have shared more adventures than Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. With this, I have executed such critical errands as carving a new wooden Makugi holding pen for the handle of a newly acquired samurai sword out of a coat hanger in my suite at the Plaza Hotel. Soaring, filing and finishing a new warthog ivory head, uh, correction, bead for an Evans 470 Nitro Express rifle. Extracting wood splinters more than an inch deep against the bottom of my foot bones. Cutting the heads off one rattlesnake and one Egyptian cobra. Probing a bullet wound, not mine. D drilling s sling swivel hones in solid walnut stocks and a host of other minor Herculanean labours. He's even skinned uh, a buffalo, uh, having sharpened the knife first. There's practically nothing you can't do with one, and it won't do the job. You can use it to build the tools that will. So I'll put a link to Peter Hathaway Capstick book, Safari, because it's a terrific read, just like death in the long grass so my new swiss army knife the swiss champ uh, is going to be my uh, new constant companion uh, it's uk legal because the blades don't lock and it is um, a pen knife it's a utility um, item uh, designed for a myriad of tasks which are completely justifiable and um, I expect it to last a long time uh, hopefully if I don't manage to lose it 